everyone. Welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish and reviewing Disney. This was the Stock Swish show play of the day today. I didn't do this right out of the gate. I regretted it. Usually I'm very fast on the trades, but this ended up working out. We got in it late. I did the ad and got the drop and it's still falling now as we speak. So again, Disney's one of these things that I definitely thought would bleed into the close. Less than three hours left in the day, but it's still plenty of the time for Disney to make new loans. So the low today was 101.39. I think we're going to break that before the end of the day. This is even setting up again to get back into it if you did it and got out of it. So let's take a look at it. Uh, just going back and back and back. Again, we did a late trade in this. And we got the drop, did the ad, and you could have got out in here. Again, time of the day here was around 11.15-ish, 11, 11, 11, 12. Rally back, pushed up, could have added in the trade. Nice setup here. Again, if I had done Disney out of the game today, I would have gotten this sell off. I'm not sure where I would have gotten out exactly here. I probably would have got out in the break of 103. Uh, I might have gotten out here. Might have gotten out around 103.50. Um, but I would have had a good, fast, quick play out of the game. Instead, I did the late setup. But Disney has been on my watch list for quite some time. We did puts in this, they worked. Um, again, Disney had earnings. Feels like a million years ago, but it was only last week. Was that last week? No, yeah, that was Tuesday. So stock closed up here at 116.47, open in the morning at 107.25. We shorted it here, we made money, it worked. Called the puts, boom, kaboom a rumor rumor went today. So again, it's very interesting when you're looking at trading, when you're trying to figure out what to do when you wanna trade, if you are on the fence, and you are trying to decide what to do. The nice thing about the Golden Gap rating system is you don't have to be on the fence. It just, the, the point rating system makes a decision for you. If the gap rates 20 points or more, that's the cutoff, you can short it if it's gapping down. If, if the higher the rating, the better the gap. You could do an option, you could do a day trade, you could hold it to a bigger target. This was a very good gap. If you don't get the 20 point rating, guess what, you don't do it at all. So that's how that works. So again, it's not that difficult if you know what to do because the rating tells you what to do. It takes the guesswork out of it. You don't trade on feelings. You must trade on 100% conviction in the system itself. Learning the system is key. And again, that is what I focus on when I'm trading, when I'm making the picks, which I do in the pre-market. If you're interested, I still have spots available for this weekend's class in May. The class is May 18th and 19th. If you would like to sign up, email me and Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.